Hello, my dear friends. Welcome back to Service Town 911. We are in the series of ACL Full and Final. This is a special series because in this we deep dive into ACLs. We start with the very basics, we start with the small steps, and we deep dive into a much complex scenarios of ACLs. I am also learning a lot. This is a special series for me as well. So if you have watched the very first video of this series, which says that if the ACL is not there on a table, then only admin will be able to access that table. No other person will be able to access that. It means no other role will be able to access it. In part two, we are starting and creating a very basic ACL. And let's see what will happen after that. Okay, so let's go to the table which we have created on the screen. So this is my instance. This is the table which we have created last time. In this, I have made some modification. Let me show you that. Configure, go to table. So I have made it extensible so that I will be able to create a child for this one. Okay, I added a prefix because I have added few fields as well. So if you see columns, I have added number and description because we are going to play with data. That's why I have added these basic things. Okay. So now if you see at the bottom, there is no ACL for this one. It means the condition is the same as the first video. So now let me create a very basic read ACL on this. Click on new. So here type is record. We will create other types as well, but for the time being record only. Operation is let's say read. Okay. This is a very basic operation. And at the bottom, you see we are not adding any field. It means this ACL is on this table only. It means it is a table level ACL. There is no field selected and not all fields are selected. Where we select all fields by using asterisk. Okay. So this is a table level ACL. So now you get it. What is a table level ACL? And at the bottom, you see condition, role, security, attribution and data condition, script condition. So all these conditions must evaluate to true if you want this ACL to work, okay? That's what is written here. Access control allow access to specific resource. If all these four condition checks evaluate to true. So right now we are not doing anything. We are not adding anything in any of these four things. It means if there is nothing, they are returning true, okay? So now let's see what will happen. Let me save this. Congratulations, we have created one ACL. Okay, so now let me access this particular table. As an admin, I have no issues. Now let me impersonate to ITIL user. This is ITIL. This is able tutor with no role. So let's give some preference, you know, respect to this ITIL madam. Click on impersonate. So now this is ITIL impersonation. Now reload. Yes, we are able to see it. If I open any of the record, as this is read ACL, we are only able to read it here. We are not able to make any edit or changes. That's okay because the ACL is doing that. Fine. Now let me impersonate to the very, you know, simple user, able tutor, gentleman with nothing, no role. Click on it. Yes, Abel is also able to see these tables, these records. Click OK here. So you see, Abel is also able to see it. But don't you think this is not ethical? This is not good? Yes, it is not good because he is having nothing, no role. But how he is able to see this? Because for testing purpose, I am showing you this. But ultimately, it should not happen. Remember that. So what this is indicating? This indicates that if there is a table level ACL and there is nothing, no stopping, no role, no condition, then everyone will be able to see that particular table because it is a read ACL and there is no condition. So now let me make some change. Let me add ITI role to this particular ACL. Again, I'm sharing my screen. Elevate role. Every time you have to elevate role because we have impersonated. For security reason, we have this. Now just come to this. This is the ACL, right? At the bottom, you can add a role here. Let's say ITIL. Now let's save this. So theoretically, this ACL is now telling that 
the people the person who is having itl role only those people will be able to see this table see this data so now let's see what will happen if we impersonate again giving some respect to itil reload this yes because she is itil that's why she is able to see this now impersonate again uh, this particular user is able to tell the person with no role no is not able to see it because the acl is working now you understand how it is working he has having no role and this table is restricted to only itl role people so i hope you understand the basic concept of acl this is very basic but i want to show you because we are doing full and final we start with the very basic and we reach to the top with some complexities so i hope you like it i will come back with some more interesting thing subscribe it share it with your friend and colleagues thank you so much bye bye